Hey guys, I'm gonna go over what the best type of bot and pushback is. And as you can see here, here are the four meta bots this season. Um, and this is actually an updated version of a previous um, video. Um, and I've added some real good, and I have some extra points on these three bots since the uh, season has progressed. But um, if you have any of these bots, you're pretty, you're in good shape for the pushback season. But if you don't, I'd consider um, redesigning. I'm gonna go through each of these bots specifically, and then I'll rank them at the end. So starting with the C bot, the C bot can hold a pretty decent amount of chunk of blocks, maybe like um, six or uh, seven blocks. Eight blocks is pushing it for a C bot though. I don't think you'll find any of that unless it's a really defined C bot. But with C bots, there's a few different ways you can go about one. You can have a C bot where you have a piston here that goes up and down to uh, catch under the long goals and it will be able to grab middle goals as well. So it's a two for one deal. Um, or you could do the other way where you can't go under the goal, but um, there's no piston to go up and down. So yeah, no going over the long goal. And to get to the middle goals, what the C-Bots would usually do is have a, another like roller here. Um, so to make the either bots go either up or down to the middle goal. Um, C-Bots are pretty, pretty fast scoring bots. I'd say they're pretty averagely fast scoring. Um, it kind of depends on like your building, but um, really nice C bots can soar pretty decently fast. Uh, for the S bot, S bot is just amazing. It has this nice S design. They can hold a good seven, eight blocks, maybe even nine, if like you're pushing it. But S bots, they're really known for and really good for holding a lot of blocks and scoring really fast. S bot is going to be the your really fast scores and if you have an s bot it's usually going to be faster scoring than the other type of meta bots um and through competition so far they've been so prevalent eat like right when snacky cakes uh one signature they've been all over the place and that's just for a good reason um it just does so well in holding blocks and scoring fast and that is a great balance of both and it does it extremely well. And that's why a lot of teams have picked up this S design. Um, and I, I was actually just playing a tournament where it was just a ton of S bots at the tournament. Like my quarterfinals are just four S bots. Such a great bot. And they score extremely fast. And they hold a great amount of the blocks. Now, the basket bot, um, it doesn't have this and great in between of holding a lot of blocks and scoring fast and that is what like you're looking for in a good bot uh the basket bot yes can hold a ton of blocks however they they usually score pretty slowly now yes there has been some basket bots that can score pretty fast and uh can match load them have a great have a lot of number of blocks um but for the most part the basket bots our basket bots are pretty slow scoring um but if you're like a really good builder and you can build a really fast scoring basket bot that would be really really good especially for skills um because their pika pika and bark bots their basket bots are incredible like if you're a good builder and you're like ah, i don't know c s bots not for me but the basket bots i really want to hold a lot of blocks um Go for the basket bot, but if you're like not those super super high levels, um, it's just going to be hard to score, and that loses a lot of the game. But it can be good for skills if you're going for skills only, just because it can take the match loaders really quickly, um, and then you can try and score them all at once. But and then you have the new one I'm going to go over from this updated version. One that's popped up a lot, the Reg 1 robots. And a funny story behind the Reg 1 robots is that um, my team has actually came up with this design uh, like a week after the showing, the preview of Pushback at Worlds. Um, and we posted it on YouTube, so we think that Reg 1 might have taken inspiration from our bot because it does have a decent amount on YouTube, but. Um, 
I like I like to call them the two block intake bots just because of that but um yeah they can intake so think of like a glorified hero bot but it can intake two blocks at the same time so um it can intake double eh, well ish double the amount it can hold like a good like seven eight um similarly to the s bot it really depends on how you make your rig one bot but um scoring speed they can score pretty fast um could be faster than the than a c bot usually a little bit slower than the s bot unless you can make a really really great rig one bot uh then you could probably match an s bot speed but um this is another robot it's been really popular po popular mostly because of you know in this uh pushback you want a good amount of blocks you want a whole lot of blocks but you also want to score fast too you want a good balance of those and this bot does that really well um it's won a lot of t signatures um like great planes and um what was the other signature i can't remember but um lot signatures and a lot of teams that have made it work really well I meaning of course reg one um and uh shiny unicorns teams those are really good so if you're building one of those bots i'll look out for them but if you want a t if you want someone to look at for inspiration i'd go for pink shiny unicorns or the unicorns teams i i get a few of them mixed up um because they have like the same name but i take inspiration from them because they have a really nice bot or they qualify to worlds and here is my ranking of the four meta bots of pushback. Now, there is some controversial. Well, there was a tough one between second and third, but I'll go for why Basketbot is last because a lot. Because I did a poll on YouTube, and 50% of people said that they're going for a Basketbot this season. Um, they're really popular, and you can see why. Because they can hold a lot of blocks, um, and that's probably what you want to do. That that's I mean. That makes sense. The only thing about the basketball is that they score really slowly. It's just hard for them to do anything and score. And like once you're ready and aligned on that log or whatever, it's gonna take a long time to score, and that gives the enemy team um, more time to push you out of the way or make some plays um, because of the scoring speed. Um, so I'd generally go away from the basketball unless, like I said, you're a really really good team with a really good builder because there's been teams that make basketballs work and like work really really well like pika pika if you want to look at them they're they have the best basketball better than ba uh, bark bots actually um bark bots another incredible team also with a great basketball so it can work it just depends on what your level is now for second and third place this one was tough for me to make because my initial thoughts was have c in second place um but just based on all the tournaments and the rankings and how these bots usually compared with win percent i put the reg one in second um now i might make another updated video with the switched or something but for right now this is um I'm going to stick with this. Seabot is in third place. Seabot's really great. It's just... It's a really hit or miss, kind of. Because if you make a really good Seabot, it could be higher than Rulgan or Reg 1, but Seabots just have not won as much as Reg 1. Um, they just haven't. I mean, there's only a few notable Seabots. I think the Seabot can work really great. It's just the win percent is just one rig one. And the rig one bots, I mean, they're pretty similar to the C bots and sort of like um, the ratio between scoring speed and block holds. But the only reason why the S bot is higher because S bots can usually hold maybe one block more. It, it, it depends, it really does. Um, but they score faster. Um, most S bots will score faster than the Rig 1 bots, although that could change depending on the builder skill or how well the bot is built, but that's usually how it is. S bots have dominated pushback 
and yes, basketball has started out the uh, the favorites, and then uh, look, as time has gone on, I've seen more and more and more S bots in the high signature level, and in my tournaments too. Um, they are just so dominant. They um, there's usually an S bot that wins every competition. Like it's such a dominant bot. So if you're building a robot in this pushback season. Go for the S bot. Um, the only thing though, S bots are really hard to build. So if you don't want to build an S bot, or like, ugh, I, it's gonna be hard to build. I don't have that skill level. Then I'd suggest doing either Rig One bot or a C bot because I feel like both of those bots are pretty easy. Or they're not like easy to build, but like they're not like hard hard bots you know um and like if you're just starting out pushback i'd say go for a c bot if you are like mid mid ish i'd go for rig one if you're like top if you're like okay you're familiarized you're good building i'd go for s bot and yes if you have a basketball you will do pretty good in pushback i just ad i'd ad avoid the basketball unless you want what to make one and you can in your building skills are incredible because i mean the teams have made it work really really nice like pika pika bark bots um they're all really nice um but yeah that's gonna be my ranking of four bots if you have any questions that you want to ask me i'll be happy to answer them just let me know in the comments um and please like and subscribe to the channel to get uh to boost my channel and uh thanks for tuning in might make another updated video as a season as the season goes along and i'll i'll see you in the next video